What's up, everyone? It's Stevie, and we're back in Roblox Islands. That's right, we're back in Islands, and we've got an update coming either today or tomorrow. So this video is all about leaks for that update. I know I've only done like one leak update ever for this game, but I did get approval on this leak video from the devs, so we're gonna be sharing some really cool stuff. Now, if you don't wanna watch leaks, now is the time to drop off the video. I won't be offended, okay? Just make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And then you can always, you know, come back after the updates and see how correct I was with some of these leaks. So the devs did approve this video. Like I said, I just double checked and they were fine with it. So now if you're wondering why the devs haven't really been updating islands lately, it's a couple of reasons. I will tell you the simple version is that after Bedwars release, they had to shuffle around, you know, who's working on islands, who's working on Bedwars updates. And it was just kind of chaotic for them for a while. They didn't expect the, you know, I don't think they expected the huge success of Bedwars. I mean, if you look at how many players play that game now compared to Islands, it's insane. So of course they had to spend a lot of time updating Bedwars and making sure that audience was happy while keeping all of us happy with Islands. So, you know, that's a lot of work and it takes a lot of coordination to figure out who can work on what and there's design, there's art, there's QA, there's everything involved with an update is a lot. And they like to do weekly updates, which does not help them at all. You know, doing weekly updates is a lot of work. So you kind of have to hand it to them that they've been working so hard, you know, harder than I think most development teams do on their games to make sure they're not abandoned. Now, recently, Brian, one of the developers, um, left the team to work on his own game. So, so that is why we've had like these weird timing of updates. So the devs are working on getting back to weekly cadence for updates. So hopefully we'll be able to start getting some weekly updates pretty soon here. So stay tuned for those. Now we do have a Thanksgiving themed or Turkey themed event, you know, or fall festival style update. I think there's going to be a lot of limiteds as part of this update. Now, one thing I will say is remember last year, there was that little island out here. If you were playing islands back then there was that little island out here and it had like a balloon so it was like balloons floating everywhere and we were all trying to figure out what that was i'm going to show you a clip of that right now and uh i don't know if i still have screenshots of it hopefully i do it's like a new balloon island it's like a bunch of like air hot air balloons so we don't know what's going on with this island yet there's no way to get to it currently i did see someone that actually some hackers i think you know flew over there of course they would do that some people even flew over there and hacked to fly over there and see it i think they found like some kind of like jar like potion box bottle or something. It was kind of weird. So when I asked one of the builders back then, hey, what was that island? They said it was for an event. I think it was for Thanksgiving last year and they never used it because of timing. It just didn't make it out in time. I think it was because they were working on the December update already and they just missed the timing. They're just too close. So they never used that island. So I was wondering if they're going to bring that back. And I was just joking with the devs about that. I won't tell you what they said, but that's not really an official leak that I'm allowed to give out. <laughs> it would be really cool if we saw that island come back because we never got to experience and it would be cool too. So leaking Gang did release some leaks. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of these. So our friends over at Leak Gang have released some stuff. Um, you can see there's some new leaks here. And um, this says it's called a boiler. I don't know what a boiler is, but it looks like some kind of cooking thing. And then there's a syrup bottler. So I think we're going to get some like cooking stuff here. Maybe something syrup related, maybe something maple. If you remember that island that had the balloons was called Maple Island. So this is kind of a clue that maybe, maybe it's maple related. So you see there's like a boiler and some kind of factory items here. And then there's this the back of the boiler as well as the other thing this come almost i don't know that look it's, it's interesting i don't know what those are and then here's the top view of the boiler and the syrup maker it's kind of cool it almost kind of looks like honey but maple also kind of looks like honey and then they have this thing called a turkey spawn egg and so i was thinking maybe at first this is going to be like some kind of boss like maybe this is like a boss egg or something like that because it kind of looks like boss eggs or pets right it looks like a pet egg but i'm not sure because we also have these right here that look like pet eggs right so these look like pet eggs too. And these are just animal eggs. So I'm thinking we might be getting a new type of animal that we can have on our farms because the boss, the boss pet eggs have a similar style. So I'm thinking we might be getting a new animal you can have on your island. And then there's this thing called antler shield. I don't know what an antler shield would be. I think this might be just decoration, but I'm not positive unless it's a item you can get and can shield you. So like maybe this is the first of shields that we've ever gotten on islands, which would be really crazy because we've never had shields before on islands. Then there's something called wooden pipes here. So if you remember, we have the oil pipes and I'm wondering if they're going to reuse the oil system for piping. So you can see it looks like there's something that pours here. Maybe this is like a little thing that goes into a maple tree. So maybe you hook this up to your maple tree and then you got these pipes and then there's like the turn and it looks like just a couple joints here so this is this one goes up this one goes down and so this looks like just some setup that maybe it hooks back into the syrup bottler so that's kind of cool so we can make syrup they have this thing called a cornucopia bed um, it could just be something that you can buy or get so it might be an event related item and then they have something called deer boss look at this thing is that like it's got like leaves and stuff that looks really crazy cool so we might have a new boss we can battle and then um, they said the theme is they 
Thanksgiving, they also have some animations that they added, including turkey eating, turkey happy, spooked, idle, walking. So this sounds like pet related animations. And you also have the baby. So that kind of clues you in that there will be a baby pet as well. So yeah, this is like, a, not pet animations, but like animal animations. So I think we got animals coming. They also have a turkey statue. That tells us that there's some kind of token or event. So maybe the more we do of some, maybe it's something we can get out of the um, the deer boss. I don't know. But it looks like we might be getting a new trophy. They also have some new furniture here. You got a Thanksgiving bean bag, which is really cool. I really like these. I also like this. It almost looks like a bed of lettuce. It's kind of a cool theme. Very SpongeBob-ish. And then I also see here um, that just came out as a raspberry seed packet. So we might be getting raspberry bushes. That's pretty cool. So in speaking with the devs, like I said, they are really, really excited about, you know, coming back with a lot more updates coming soon. Plus we have, you know, the holidays. So during the holidays, if you remember last year, they did a Christmas event. That was huge. They had like the snow fest. So we had to like gather a bunch of ice and snow, with the shovels and such. And that was just a lot of fun. Um, now, you know, whether or not they're going to do something like that again is really unknown, but it'd be really cool if we had another snow event as well. So this is really the great time of the year for us to be able to get really cool updates. So we'll see what they end up adding, but um, we don't have a countdown. So my assumption is we're not going to get a countdown for this update. I think it's just going to, you know, go as soon as it's ready. And as soon as I have a time frame for this update, I will try to, you know, even if it's last minute, I'll try my best to schedule a live stream. So make sure you turn on notifications by hitting that bell next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified if I do go live today. If I don't see you before then, have a wonderful Thanksgiving or whatever you do celebrate, whether it be Friendship Day or some other holiday. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next vid. Peace.